Hello and welcome to the video. So today I'm playing Coffee Quest VR on the Meta Quest. This is available on SideQuest and Apple Lab. So do we want milliliters or ounces? Let's go for milliliters. This can be changed at any time in the settings menu. I'm going to go for free movement. Thank you very much. Oh, select barista hand type. This can be changed at any time. Do I want the normal nails or do I want the red painted nails? Let's have a bit of flair to it. Let's get for the red painted nails. Beautiful. Right, barista school. Learn basic and advanced mechanics to become the best VR barista. Barista 101. Let's check out the tutorial. Now, I do love me some coffee. So, let's see just how fun this can be. Right, so we've got the free movement. But unfortunately, snap turn, which I'm not a fan of. Right, what have we got? Start tutorial. Welcome, budding barista. Oh, hello. I'm Cappuccino. Hello, Cappuccino. Your friendly coffee guide. Today we're diving into the wonderful world of coffee making. Let's get started on your journey to becoming a top-notch barista. First up, let's learn how to brew the perfect espresso. This is the heart of many delicious coffee drinks. Ready? Let's go. Let's go, Cappuccino. Let's begin by unlocking our first recipe. This is where the magic happens, and you get to explore the wonderful world of coffee creations. To unlock and activate a new recipe, simply follow the steps on your screen. Easy peasy. Easy and peasy. Guess what? You can also activate or deactivate recipes anytime you like. Just go to the recipes menu, and you can add new recipes to your menu or take them off if you need a little break from them. Cool. It's a nice rainy day. Time for a hot cup of coffee. Grab the mouse to control the computer. Smooth. Right, let's get a recipe. We want an espresso. Free. Oh, look. We got our first client. How exciting. Come in, our come clients in. clients will head to the self-serve station first to make their order. Let's make sure their experience is absolutely perfect. Okay. So they're not even going to talk to me now. They're just going to order it self-service. Right, order one. Um, right, over here. All right. Now that the first order clack, is clack. Made, let's talk about handling orders. This is where the new order details will appear. Each order will contain a maximum of one drink and up to two food items. Make sure to check this area frequently so you can serve our customers promptly and accurately. It looks like this customer ordered a hot single shot espresso, a macaron, and a heated pizza. Did let's they? Let's start by making the drink. A macaron? First, let's grab the porta filter. This handy tool holds the coffee grounds and is essential for making espresso. Grab the porta filter, grind fresh coffee beans into it. Okay. So fill the porta filter with ground coffee from the grinder. Use the tamper to press the coffee grounds evenly and perfect. Now tap it, tap it, tap attach it. the porta filter to the coffee machine. Right, so slot this in. Grab a dine-in coffee cup and place it under the porta filter. Got it. Then press the single shot espresso button on the coffee machine to start brewing. Watch as the rich oh. espresso flows into the cup. I can smell it. The espresso is four dollars apparently. Oh, this is to make him milk. He's hit. He's just frozen. Grab a tray and place there the is. coffee cup on it. Trays are optional, but they allow you to take multiple dine-in orders in the same trip, making service faster and more efficient. Okay. Now it's time to work on the food items. Let's grab the tongs and make a pizza. Oh. Place it in the oven to heat up. Nearly spilled Listen it. Listen closely for the sound of the oven to take the food out in a timely manner to avoid fires. Don't worry, fires are disabled in this tutorial. Any update on but my in the order? actual game, a, a fire will cause all the food in the oven to burn and customers to leave a bad review. Okay, right. So pizza's in the oven. It's warming up. Stop the oven. 
Grab a plate and place the heated pizza on it. Be careful. It's hot. Careful, it's hot. <sighs> now let's move on to the next food item. Doesn't want to go in the middle. On and place it directly on the plate as it doesn't require heating. Then place the plate on the tray. Go yeah. Grab tray and serve. Uh, there we go. Finally, take the tray and serve it in front of the customer. Oh. Make sure everything looks perfect. Got to take it out. Here you go, my friend. Thanks. Enjoy. Smells delicious. <gasps> I've made some tips. Great. <laughs> now that the customer is done with their order, it's time to learn how to clean the cup. How did it and get that dirty? So we can reuse them. You only have one pizza and a macro. And can be reused immediately. But the other items need some care. Okay, right. So let's get these in the sink. Now grab the brush and thoroughly scrub the dirty cup and plate under the running water. Right. Okay. Could do everything myself. There's a local small coffee shop. Um, where do the dry dishes go? Never mind, let's do the cup. It's time to level up your barista skills and unlock a new espresso based delight. Let's do it. Americano. Let's unlock it and activate it just like we did with the last recipe. Get ready to impress our customers with your newfound coffee wizardry. Oh, we got an Americano now. Laughing, laughing our way to the bank. Come in, quick, get out the rain. Use the self-service there, and I will be with you as quick as you can clack your tongues. Clack, clack. Good. Right, so, we should have a pending We've order. We've got a new order ready, and it's a to-go one this time. Make sure to check the cup size in the order details, and use paper cups for hot drinks. For this recipe... Hot water is the fill ingredient. After adding the base espresso shots, just fill up the rest of the cup with hot water. Let's brew up some to-go goodness. Got ya. So they want a small, two shots of espresso, and then fill with water. Ah. I guess we got to brew first. Empty all the, the rubbish out. Put up some more rounds. Tap it, tap it, tap it. Perfecto. Into the coffee machine. We want two. Oh, need a cup. There's our small. And we want two. And voila. Who left the oven open? Ooh, look at this. We've got some uh, different milks here. And we've even got whipped cream. Not a fan myself, but do your... Uh, do what you got to do. How do we fill it with water? Is that that? Mm. Oh, look at the steam. Looks delicious. Wait. We've got a new order ready and it's to go. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, water. Push and hold the hot water button. How do we know when it's done? Now you can cover the cup with a lid and serve it. Thank you, my friend, cappuccino. Oh, I'm spilling it. Sorted. Uh, place the cup. It's time to pack those scrumptious food items in a to-go box and serve them to our eager customer. And good news, this time, the food items aren't requested heated. Let's get that order ready to roll and make someone's day deliciously delightful. Ah. Please hurry up with my order. I've been waiting for a long time. Right, it's my first day. I'm learning. I didn't know it had to go in a box. Right, where's the uh, cake? There we go. Let me just close that up for you. Great, thanks a lot. No problem. Manners. It seems our coffee shop floor is gathering dust. To ensure we maintain our stellar reputation, let's grab the vacuum and give it a whirl. Just press the trigger to activate it, and let's get that floor sparkling clean. 
Oh, you got me vacuuming now. Let's get this sparkling clean. Good job I don't have more than one customer at a time, innit? Hey, guess what? Our trash is feeling a bit too comfortable and has started emitting some funky vibes. Time to show it the door. That's the name of my coffee shop, Funky Vibes. And swoop it out to the outdoor trash bin. Our noses will thank you, and maybe our customers too. Well, hang on, mate, because I'm, I'm still vacuuming. There we go, right, vacuuming done. Now let's deal with the funky vibes. Where do I take this? Ah, outside. Should have been obvious. Hope this doesn't ruin my nails that I've just had done. Congratulations, there you Coffee are. Maestro. You've successfully completed the Barista 101 training. You're now ready to start brewing magic in your very own coffee shop. Remember, you can retake this training anytime if you need a refresher. Also, don't forget to check out the other trainings. Some recipes are just waiting to be unlocked by your skillful hands. Time Whoop. to make some coffee dreams come true. Good luck on your coffee quest. Thanks, Cappuccino. Right, there we go. So, we're still in barista school. Let's try advanced barista. So, we're going to learn how to do milk steaming, syrups, sauces, whipped cream, and ice drinks. Start the tutorial. Welcome to the advanced He's back. barista training. I'm Cappuccino, your friendly coffee guy. In this course, you'll master the art of making milk-based drinks, which means you'll get hands-on with milk steaming from those cozy hot beverages. Plus, you'll learn the secrets of crafting refreshing ice drinks. Get ready to take your barista skills to the next level. Let's dive into today's training by unlocking and activating our first recipe, the Cappuccino. And hey, doesn't that name sound familiar? Get ready hey, to hey, rock, hey, steam, hey. and pour your way to cappuccino perfection. He said the thing. Right. Recipes. We're still on espresso drinks. Cappuccino. Activated. Someone coming in. You look like you need a cappuccino. And I'm the guy to give it to... He's, he's still awake. Right, we're ready. We've got a new order in, and this time it's a cappuccino. Make sure to note the milk preparation. It's heavy steam for cappuccino drinks. Let's get that milk frothy and fabulous. But first things first, let's brew a double shot espresso. Well, where's, in a me, cup. where's me grinder thing got? There it is. He hid it from me. Give me tap out. Double shot of espresso. Right, then once this is, this is done, we can start frothing our milk. I swear he's going to kill me one of these days. He just looks like a serial killer. What does that do? Now let's grab the pitcher and fill it with the milk of choice. Regular dairy milk, in this case. Ah, milk. Dairy milk, cow milk. All right, coffee champion, it's time to steam the milk. Grab your milk pitcher and place it under the nozzle ah. such that the tip of the nozzle is below the surface of the milk. So that is the Keep thing that I was playing with. We wanted to say heavy steam to match the customer's request. Once it's there, Rotate the knob back to stop steaming. Let's make that milk frothy perfection. Okay, we're steaming. We're in a light steam. Almost. Heavy, heavy, heavy. It's time to pour that perfectly steamed milk into the cup. Mm. As you pour, remember that you'll be able to draw some latte art. Hey! Just make sure not to... All right, flavor maestro. Our customer wants a sweet twist. So add a pump of hazelnut syrup to the drink. Once that's done, you can serve it up with a smile. 
Let's make this cappuccino delightfully nutty and perfectly delicious. That's my my first latte. How many? How much syrup did she want? Oh, she only wanted one hazelnut. I th I think she won't notice. Oh, oh, oh. I'm also spilling all the drink. Is she ready for it? Or have I mucked it up? Sorry, this isn't what I ordered. Oh, is it because I put too much hazelnut in it? That's what I think. Back to the drawing board. Right. Give me my cup. And then one pump of hazelnut. <laughs> He's just frozen in time. Right, so do I just take this one coffee to her? Shouldn't need a tray. Right. Yay! Thanks a lot. I'm surprised she's still here after I poured the last one on her. She poured that one on herself. Didn't make it to her mouth. Are you okay? Splendid! It's time to expand your repertoire with a new recipe, the latte. Let's unlock and activate it, and get ready to create another delicious drink for our menu. Your barista skills are about to get even better. Where's my sponge? Well, I can't mush that up yet. Okay, right, let's get another, another drink. Uh, what did he say? Caramel top macchiato. Latte. That's what he said. If only it was someone who would order a latte. Hey, hey. There you go. Johnny Depp's ordering a latte. Well, I've only got the one cup, so I won't be taken away. Yep. We've got a new order, and this time it's an iced milk drink. For iced milk drinks, we don't need to steam the milk. Just pour it straight into the cup after the base ingredient, which is the espresso shots in this case. Oh, and guess what? This one comes with whipped cream and a sauce, too. There's a lot to learn from this order. Let's get ready and make it awesome. When it comes to iced drinks, it's better to add the ice before adding the recipe's content to avoid splashes. Let's get our porta filter ready for brewing. Grab a medium sized to go cup, add ice to it, then brew the espresso shot. Make sure to use a plastic cup for cold drinks. I'm afraid I wasn't listening, I was doing the coffee. Right. So he said get a medium cup, and then this is to go cup, add ice to it, then brew the espresso shots. Make sure to use plastic. So this is plastic. Where is ice? Aha. We've got ice. Then we want our coffee. Was it a single or a double? Ah, a double. And then what else did he want? So coconut milk. Whipped cream and caramel sauce. Now it's time to fill the rest of the cup with coconut milk. Let's make this drink refreshingly delicious. Okay. Grab the whipped cream bottle and add that fluffy goodness until the indicator is at 100%. Let's make this drink a creamy... Now it's time to add our... Lovely. Caramel sauce. Grab the caramel sauce bottle and drizzle it on top of the whipped cream. Feel free to get creative and draw with it. Let's make this drink look as amazing as it tastes. And the update on my order. It's been a now while. you can cover the cup with a lid and serve it. All done. I mean, you could see I was working on it, so I don't know why you're whinging. Thanks. This looks perfect. Thank Congratulations! You. You've successfully completed the advanced barista training. You can now unlock and create milk-based drinks in your very own coffee shop. Time to show off your skills and delight your customers with your delicious creations. 
You can also take a look at our next training course, where you'll learn to make powder-based drinks like matcha, tea, chai, and hot chocolate. Let's keep expanding those skills and delighting our customers with even more delicious options. Good luck on your coffee quest. Thank you. Right, so the last part of Barista School is Barista Supreme. Powder-based drinks, refilling ingredients. Welcome to Barista Supreme Training, the most advanced training course yet. In this session, you'll master the art of creating complicated powder-based drinks and learn how to use the shop to restock your powder ingredients. Get ready to elevate your barista skills to the supreme level. Oh, I'm Let's ready. Let's dive into What's today's powder -based training drink? by unlocking and activating our recipe, the matcha latte. Ah, matcha. Matcha latte. Activate. You don't happen to want a matcha latte, dear. Fine. Talk to the machine. I'll get one ready. Just wash my hands real quick. Ah, here we go. This customer requests a matcha latte, which is a powder-based drink. Good to know. I've learned something today. Powder-based drinks recipe. Add powder to the mixing bowl. Add around 100 milliliters of water. Mix them using the whisk. Pour the mixture into the serving cup. Add milk syrups, toppings according to the recipe. Ah, okay. Right, so 5 grams of matcha mix. 100 mils of water. 1 hazelnut syrup. And dairy milk. Light foam. Then whipped cream and caramel sauce. So we need the matcha first. Uh oh. Looks like we're out of matcha. Oh no. How did that happened. <laughs> Time to head over to the computer and order a refill. The shop section is perfect for restocking food and snagging new upgrades and accessories. Let's get our supplies back in shape and keep the matcha flowing. The matcha latte is eight dollars. Is that normal? Sure. Ingredients. Refill my matcha, right, please. Matcha maestro. This recipe calls for five grams of matcha powder. So grab that small spoon and scoop some matcha from the container. We'll need to add it to the mixing bowl, along with approximately 100 ml of hot water. Is that... I guess that's five grams, is it? And then we need some water. 100 milliliters. What the? What on earth happened? It transported itself. Try that again. Now that the mixture ingredients are in the mixing bowl, it's time to put that whisk to work. Stir the concoction until the indicator is full, then pour it into the medium to go cup. Let's whip up a storm and make this drink. Oh as yeah! Mix, 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 mix. Whip it up a storm. Get rid of that, and then medium cup. Great. Now let's grab the pitcher and Excuse fill it with a milk of choice, regular order? dairy milk. In this, I'm case. literally working on it. Two minutes. All uh, right. Grab the milk pitcher and head to the fridge. She said dairy milk, didn't she? All right, matcha champion. It's time to steam the milk. Grab your milk pitcher and place it under the nozzle such that the tip of the nozzle is below the surface of the milk. Turn the steam knob on. Keep an eye on Good. the indicator. It's time to pour that perfectly steamed milk into the coffee. There we go. Flavor, nice, maestro. lightly formed. Our customer wants a sweet twist. So add a pump of hazelnut syrup to the drink. Oh, <laughs> helps if the cup's there. Grab the whipped cream bottle and add that fluffy goodness until the indicator is at 100%. Let's go. Let's make this drink a creamy drink. Oh. Now it's time to add our final touch, caramel sauce. Grab the caramel sauce bottle and drizzle it on top of the whipped cream. Feel free to get creative and draw with it. Let's make this drink look as amazing as... Fantastic! Jobs are good. You can cover the cup with a lid and serve it. Well, there you go. This is just what I wanted. 
Congratulations! You've successfully completed the Barista Supreme Training. You can now unlock and create powder-based drinks in your very own coffee shop. Sweet. Good luck on your coffee quest. So, we've completed the training course thing. So now I'm going to go to business in my own coffee shop. Now that we know how to make drinks. Oh! Well, hello. Uh, uh, I think it was the wrong cake. Wait, right, hang on, because someone else needs a shot of espresso. It's all getting a bit too much now. Um, tap it, tap it, tap it. Hang on. Blimey. me. Where's my tongues? I'm honestly trying. <laughs> there we go. Right. You don't want to quest on, do you? No. Um, you, however, want one shot of espresso in a dining cup. Okay. I think we're back on track. And then someone else wants a small espresso. Ah. She wants pizza though as well. He did. Pizza's easy because we've only got the one. It's cheese and tomato or nothing. No, it's not. It's pepperoni. <laughs> um, coffee. And then. Eh. God. I'm packing like a dog here. Wrong person. Um, plate. I'm giving it to the wrong person. Ah, no, tongues. Hot. Ah, oh, nuts. I've, I've dropped that coffee. <laughs> right, I know, I know what's coming. Can everyone just calm down for a minute, please? And I bet it's that one that's on the floor. What? I guess the cups don't go on the plates. Who's cancelled now? You guys can stand there as long as you want. You're not getting anywhere. I choose who I serve. There we go, nice and clean. Whee. No one's getting served. I mean, yeah, have a cake or something on the house. I want to see what talent show is. I can hire a singer. I've got forty-four dollars here. I want someone to come in and sing. There he is. That was quick. Does that um? Th